Hello, happy Monday. I'm meteorologist Alexis Walters. I'm in the Dick Goddard Weather Center. The start to your work week is snowy gray, but the snow showers are actually thinning out. And it's also cold. And what you're seeing today, there's a lot more of it in the eight day forecast with more snow. So first thing, let's go ahead and take a look at how much snow is on the ground at the moment. Now, in some isolated cases, there are over six inches of snow on the ground right now. Now, if you've been uh, kind of paying attention to what I've been talking about these last couple of days, we were a foot to two feet of snow below the average for this time of year. So the snow is pretty welcome when it comes to our uh, climatology. When it comes to whether or not you enjoy driving through snow, that's a different question. Plan on, I would say, through at least Thursday, Friday, another four to six inches, pretty widespread of snow. Here's why. So our first system we had yesterday into today is now along the East Coast. We've got this nice big break in here. That means dry skies for today as well as your Tuesday, with the exception of a few lake effect flurries for our lakeshore communities tomorrow. Our next system is beginning to develop just to the west of the Texas Panhandle. So our next system is going to be a Panhandle system. And if you've also been paying attention, that just means it's where it's coming from. They've got a lot of moisture. We've seen this colder air digging through the central and western part of the United States. And as that continues, we get these stronger systems out of the Panhandle. We also, in the eight-day forecast, have a clipper system. I'll show you that here in a few minutes, but let's go ahead and walk through future cast and show you our dry days. Now this evening into tonight, we will see some cloud clearing, so temperatures have the chance to fall into the upper 20s by early morning tomorrow. The clouds rebuild by the drive to work on Tuesday. Skies stay quiet. If you take a look at the top right hand corner there, there are those few lake effect flurries I mentioned. Temperatures again tomorrow in the mid 30s. So our temperature variation from morning to day afternoon is really not great. Uh, it's small. So pretty steadily cold temperatures, but seasonable for this time of year and even below average. Now we're getting into Wednesday morning. The snow going to be coming out of the south and southwest. Pretty widespread for the drive to work on Wednesday. So give yourself some extra time. As for today, let's break this down quickly here. Highs in the mid 30s, a few lake effect flurries, and as far as the coverage goes, it's very isolated. Tomorrow, again, you could see an isolated flurry or two, but it's going to be lake effect snow. Let's get to our Wednesday system. I want to show you the broader picture of it here. So there it's developing over Texas, pushes in on Wednesday morning, your drive to work, snow for everyone. By the afternoon, we'll even see some mixing of snow to wintry mix, maybe some rain in there. It's going to be mainly along 71 and southeast of Cleveland there. So Akron, south of Akron, could even push up into Trumbull County near Chardon as well to the west of Trumbull County. North and west, we're talking all snow through the afternoon. Once the low pressure tracks over, we'll then tap into that northwesterly flow. We see some lake effect snow by Thursday. So the system in general, very similar to what we saw Sunday into Monday, but this one just some warmer air on the southeast quadrant of it, and that's what's bringing the chance for that changeover. So this will drastically affect snow totals. I'm going to mention that. By Thursday afternoon and Friday, the snow starts to taper off a bit. So here's what I mean by it. It affects the snow totals. So the areas that see all snow, you're looking for two to four inches. Now our western and northwestern counties could see closer to four to six inches. But those of you who see the changeover, you're only looking for one to three. All of that is to say the system is going to create a bit of a mess for you on your drive to and from work on Wednesday. Road crew is probably going to try and keep up with this, but especially those areas that see the changeover to some wet, wet snow and rain could be tough for them to treat the roads because um, it could get washed away, the salt and the brine. So be extra careful in those areas, especially on your drive home from work. Now, through the eight day forecast, I do have several chances of snow. Here's a quick peek. Now, this shows rain, but this is also for snow. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, at least a 20 to 40% chance is there. All of this is great news if you've got kids and they've been wanting to get outside and go play in the snow, create a, a snow angel or a snowman, or go sledding. Best time to do so would either be today, maybe tomorrow, or this weekend. It'll be snowing this weekend, though, so plan on that additional uh, snow coming down. Here's the eight-day forecast for you. Very seasonable, even below average for this time of year. Wednesday, 
it's a great chance that you will see some sort of precipitation. Pretty cold this weekend, actually. We're looking for teens for our overnight lows Saturday night. Friday afternoon, can't make it out of the 20s. So winter is back and it's here to stay for a bit. We'll have to take a peek probably next Monday at how much snow we get total accumulated over the course of this week just to see how much closer to the average this time of year we are for those snow totals. So if you guys have any questions about the forecast specifically in your area that I forgot or didn't mention, go ahead and drop a comment. If it's not talked about in this video, I will um, address it. You can also head over to fox8.com under the weather tab. The forecast discussion has the breakdown of all of what I just said in text and graphics. So have a great work week and be safe out on the roads. Take care.